Hey there people and welcome to the Kotlin training and in this video I'll show you how you can seamlessly integrate Java everything Java packages and pretty much everything in the Kotlin files in here also we are in the continuation of the talk of our functions and let's just carry on in here this is our main function we have defined some dummy functions which are just basics basic clearing of our basics so let's just say we want to define a function uh, that just gets a current date and we will be using Java classes in here. So all you have to do is write a fun keyword in here and let's just call this as get date. Okay, and this should not do anything, this should just run a function date, but uh, the return type would be date. Now you can see it automatically suggests me java.util because date is being brought up by the java.util. As soon as I hit enter there, uh, notice it has automatically imported java.util for me and that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, you have integrated a uh, Java functionality in here. So I can just run this guy and I can use a return keyword. Whenever you want to return something from a function, you can return it. And I'm going to call this run the date. That's it. There we go. As simple as it sounds. So you might be thinking there should be some procedure of integrating Java into this like that. No, it's not. You will be writing the code exactly in here and you will be just using uh, the structures and the mechanism in here for the Kotlin and uh, you'll be getting everything from the Java. So this is this is something super cool. And if I run this in here, uh, do notice in a second that uh, we should be getting some date. We have actually got the date, but we forgot to print that out. So uh, we should be printing it now. So let me just write a print ln there. And uh, let's move this guy in here. There we go, fix that. Let's just run this again. And we should be seeing the date this time. Okay, there we go. We forgot to add a line break in here. So our date is in here. Uh, we can do quickly in here, a simple print ln there i think things should be fixed now this time at least and there we go so sunday may 21 pretty late night in here so this is how you do that now what i would like to do is uh simply just do a quick uh refresher or a summary kind of thing in here because i know we have discussed quite a lot so first of all in order to define a function what you need is a fun keyword the name of the function followed by parenthesis and in the definition followed by the curly brace you can write any definition of the function or whatever the working you need in here sometimes in the function you need somebody to pass an argument as well like when the function is being called somebody should pass something from there depends on what the thing is being passed on it can be string or it can be integer anything this name is completely on you you can call it anything regardless whatever the things are being passed on but the data type really do matter and you can utilize these data types in here in these couple of functions we are not returning anything in in the function that is why this is not being followed by the syntax of colon date so whatever the return type of your data is you have to mention in here for example if you might want to return a string value in here what i would do is put a colon in there and i would say i will be returning a string then the return and the type should be a string is compulsory to be defined inside the body of the function also we talked a little bit about how we can seamlessly integrate java as well so there is nothing much extra you have to do you have to just write everything in your syntax of the kotlin whatever you are doing and every functionality that is there in the java every package that you are found of and uh, that you usually use uh, you just have to call that just like that just uh, the integrated editor will suggest to you hit enter and it will be imported at the top and that's it you'll be writing it exactly in the syntax of the kotlin and there we go and this is one of the reasons why most of the features are now being upgraded in the applications like uber and coursera and all of these other guys are being updated in the kotlin it's easier to write as well as you get the full power of the java for which the java is known for so this is a win-win situation for everybody so this is a quick update in here and uh, I hope you are enjoying this course so far and let me know in the comment section uh, as well how you are enjoying this course uh, so far. And now let's go ahead and move further.